can messenger bots do for you? Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice, and today I wanna to talk to you about what messenger bots can do for you in your business. Because a lot of the time you hear about these magic, fantastic, magical bots, and everyone's talking about how amazing they are and how they can help get you leads and everything like that, which is cool, don't get me wrong. However, there's three key areas that a bot can really help with. Number one being lead generation, number two being inquiry, like addressing inquiries, and number three being customer service. And a lot of the time, people actually don't know anything after the lead generation. It's like, I got a lead, great, yeehaw, right? I've got leads coming in, get more leads. May as well get more leads. But they don't take advantage of all of the other avenues and what else a bot can help you with. Because one of the big reasons that I personally like bots is because it allows for someone who is interested enough in your product or service to get the answers that they need immediately. Right, immediately. Because if someone has a problem, they're not sitting there going, oh, I'm gonna wait to between nine and five to address this problem. Oh, I better, better just cross my fingers and hope that this person um, is going to read this message. No, if they have a problem, they have a problem right now. They're not just sitting there going, oh, no, that's okay, that problem can wait till tomorrow. If they're up stressing, pulling their hair out, overwhelmed in what's going on in their world, that's a problem for them immediately. And they need to get the answers to that. Now, this works really, really well and effectively as well. For anyone that's got a huge portion of their business coming from Messenger, so we found that hairdressers, beauty salons, uh, gyms, martial arts studios, all seem to have a similar uh, problem, which is a lot of the people that are taking action and inquiring are doing it via Messenger. Right, I was just at a martial arts conference over the weekend, and one of the guys there shared with me that he had, had to send something out to 300 people so he literally had to cut and paste the same message and then change their first name 300 times, right? 300 times. Now, let's just say that's cutting, pasting, changing the name, send, and you can't do it too fast just in case Facebook shuts you down because you're doing something too fast, right? And it always happens. So if you think about that, let's just say it took you 30 seconds to do that 300 times right? That's 9,000 seconds, which is around about an hour and a half, right? That is a lot of time, an hour and a half spent messaging back and forth. Let's just say that your time is worth $100 an hour. That's $150 that you just spent in sending messages. Like, is it going to get the business a result? Potentially, yes. However, that's the first key and first component of what bots can do for you is save you time. Right? You spend, you've just spent $150 of your time copying and pasting a message that could have been done by an automated system. Right? Shot through the heart, that's annoying, right? You're like, oh, okay, I should definitely do that. But let's just say like some of the studios that we've worked with, some of the salons and some of the gyms, where they've got someone for four to five hours a day managing Messenger, messaging back and forth, just copying and pasting the message. Again, really, copying and pasting the message. That should be automated, right? in that response, if they spend five hours a day, and let's just exclude the weekend, five days in that week, that's 25 hours of time, right? And let's just say in Australia, maybe you're paying someone 20 bucks an hour, maybe it's outsourced, but let's just say you're using an Aussie 20 bucks an hour, right? That is over $500 per week that you are spending, right? $500 per week, $100 a day to get someone to respond to messages. That is over a month, that is going to be $2,000. That's $24,000 per year. $24,000 per year you're paying someone to respond to messages that could be done by a bot. That money could be allocated towards marketing, advertising. That person could be doing something else within the business to help it grow, right? So for me, when I see the opportunity within a bot is that it allows you to have an automated assistant this is your assistant you're creating to actually respond to that for you. So if you've got a high volume of messages, a high volume of interaction, a high volume of leads coming in, or even just parents or people messaging your page, whatever business you're in, right? And you need to get back a message to them because they are upset when they're upset, they need an answer when they need an answer. You are gonna save potentially, you know, anywhere from who knows, five to 25 grand could be saved in people's time that you pay to work in your business. Right, to me that is tremendous. Not 
not not withholding, right? Because when people go home, let's just say that you're the business owner, you're jumping on, you're looking at those messages, you're responding, your partner's unhappy, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, they're unhappy, going, hey, come on, let's, let's do something together. You're sitting on your phone all the time, messaging someone else. I know it's for your business, but come on, have a break. But you know that they could go to someone else if they don't get their question answered, right? We all know that's potential. So why not take that out of the hands of a human and give it to a system, right? Give it to some artificial intelligence. It's not really that artificial intelligent yet, but you know what I mean. Give it to something that can automatically answer that for you. That's your little assistant to help. And look, then you can also install that on your website. So if people have a question on your website, they can get a question answered. They can get a response. They can find out exactly what they need to know. And if they need to, then they can notify you if someone has a really deep question that you can't answer, right? Your bot can't answer, right? That can happen. And then you take over and you can take over the sales process from there. But what that allows you to do is build that relationship, allows you to build that list of potential inquiries. Because as well, what happens from there is everyone that's inquired to your page becomes a subscriber. They become a subscriber of your page, which means that you can broadcast to them. So let's imagine if you had that same list on email versus messenger. On email, you have 100 people. You have 100 people that are subscribers, right? You send it out, maybe you're good and you get a 30% open rate. So you get 30 people open that. Of those 30 people that open that, maybe you have a 5% click-through rate. Let's go 10%. Let's say you're really good, right? You're really good and you have a 10% click-through rate. Of those 30 people, three people click. They click on your offer, they click respond to whatever you're asking them. Yeah, this doesn't really excite me. Let's take those same 100 people in Messenger, you send that out and you have an open rate of anywhere from 60 to 100%, and again, let's use the worst case, let's use 60. You have 60 people open, but your click-through rate, because it's in a more uh, conducive environment, taking action to make things easy for people, they click on something, they click, you get a 30 to 50% open rate. Let's use 30. Of those people that open, you've got 60 people to open, that means that you've got 18 people clicking through versus three. Six times the result, just by using a different medium. Which to me is like, I'm like, oh, that is why you need to use Messenger. Right, I probably get, we have a small uh, Messenger list, but we have a big database, email database. I probably get the same result from them, even though one is probably six times smaller, right? Six times smaller, the messenger database, but it gets a better result. Riddle me that. So that's the one side. The other side is that lead generation. Like I've just said there, you can get way better results when it comes to broadcasting to that database and building it. Now you can build it using direct to message ads. You can use it by just getting people to send you a keyword. You can get them to comment on a post and then send them a message. Or you can also get them to use scannable codes. Now, I think scannable codes is a tremendous way to use that last part I spoke about at the very beginning, that customer service, by segmenting your customer base, getting them to scan in that code, and then they become even more enthralled in your business. You can send messages to your existing customers, which are always gonna do more. Maybe it's a reminder about something that's coming up, an event or otherwise. Maybe it's a reminder of uh, to support and sponsor, maybe it's a charity that you help out, something like that. So what that allows you to do is to build that really solid base of people then as well that are already existing customers for you using that scannable code. Now on the other side, we use something really heavily, a like competition formula that we have, which we get a lot of people to enter into our messenger bot. So we can use it to drive a really large amount of lead generation for a very small cost, which then means we can actually push forward into the future and consistently market to those people. We can send out those messages with that high open rate. Right? But you need to use the right method for you to bring people in, whether it's running ads directly to Messenger, getting people to comment, getting people to send you a keyword, or using a scannable code. All of those things work really, really effectively to use lead generation to drive that increase in traffic, to build that increase in engagement, to then get you an increase in sales. And they all work hand in hand together. But the two big key takeaways today for you guys is number one, look at how much time you're spending in your business on Messenger. And then look at number two, how can you reduce that time, right? So you can get a sale. And then how can you use it to build leads, right? How you can you use it to build leads? Because if you're spending less time in Messenger, I mean, you can focus on your sales, you can focus on your marketing and advertising and bring more people in to Messenger so that you can build a better experience for them and they can get the questions answered when they want. Guys, today, that is the most important thing for you to take away. 
And if you like this video, give me a little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that's cool. Give me a thumbs down. Give me some good feedback. Drop me a comment though and let me know why. And as always, subscribe so that you find out about these things before anyone else as soon as they drop every week. Until next time, I am Kim Barrett. You have all been awesome. Adios.